Hello again. It's me, Marcus, and I have this channel so I can review stuff and react to stuff and really just listen to more music in my life. Uh, yeah, so today I'm listening to the song Hungover in Jonestown by Amigo the Devil, which I think is a pretty cool name for a band if I'm being real with you. Um, but hey, I'm really excited for this one. Uh, recently I asked in one of my videos for more recommendations from bands I haven't heard yet. Uh, and this is one of those. This is one of those bands I have not heard yet before. So I'm pretty interested to see what they bring to the table. Um, with that being said, I mean, don't don't get me wrong. I've really enjoyed listening to things like Muse and Glorious Sons and Grandson and uh, 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 other band that I listen to a lot. Uh, Rival Sons. <laughs> Sorry, I'm checking my list of all the things I've reviewed so far. People really like... Um, we really like sons, it seems like. Anyway, uh, <laughs> um, shit, what was I saying? Yes, I remember now. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed listening to, you know, some bands that I know I like and bands that I have things that I like. Uh, but part of this channel is to learn new things and learn about new artists and whatnot. So really excited to hear from some new artists as well. Don't worry, I'll definitely still be reacting to more Muse. I'll definitely still be reacting to more of a lot of the stuff that I've been doing so far. Okay. So don't worry, it's not going anywhere, but I'm glad to have something new. Anyway, I'll stop rambling. If you want to make a request, please just leave a comment down below. I will be sure to get to it. My list is growing like exponentially, though. People are requesting all kinds of stuff, so I'm trying to get to as much of it as I can, but just be patient. I mean, your request from today might not be seen for months down the line, and I apologize for that. It's just I'm trying to appease as many people as I can, if you know what I mean. And, you know, still broaden my music horizons. So, anyway, let's get to it. This is Amiga the Devil, Hungover in Jonestown. Excited for this one. You are the hammer, I am the nail Building a house in the fire on the hill There is a string that leads me to hope I tied the noose, but you are the rope And it huh. was a lie that got me in bed I am the dog, you are the shed I can't find the perk in the Percocet When you're not around <laughs> And this is the fight that taught me to feel If I am the drunk, you are the wheel so I drink till the night It comes another day And the day is just another little thing in our way No one ever chooses to be a flawed design But this life is a joke And that is the punchline That's pretty neat I like that You are the queen And I am the rook You are the fire And I burn like a book don't know how this one ends till I die And the honest part of reliable is the lie <laughs> The greater the power, the more the abuse You are the hand, I worship the bruise If romance is dead, I guess I'm a necrophiliac Oh my god But every god needs a sacrifice I am the cross and you are the Christ So I drink till the night Comes another day, and the day's just another little thing in our way. There's something about the way you beat me down that I'll never learn. You're the pint of no return. The pain in my chest, the stain on your dress, the glass in my eye. But this life is a joke, and death is the punch. I. Life is a joke, and death is the punchline. Life is a joke, and death is the punchline. Oh, 
I feel like I've said this many times on my channel now. But I'm going to say it again because it holds true every time. I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't that. But I enjoyed it. <laughs> and uh, it's definitely something different. And I enjoyed that it was different. Because, again, part of this channel is just broadening my horizons and trying new music. Uh, you know, I'd, I've always been like a hardcore rock and metal person. And although I still listen to mostly rock and metal on this channel, it's different rock and metal. And I think this is more of like a, almost like a country rock song, southern rock song, song if you will. Um, definitely has some country um, influence to it, for sure, for sure. Um, but man, I really enjoyed this one. This one was really neat. Um, I think where it stood out to me mostly was in the lyrics. I think the lyrics are just very creative. And as you could see, that a couple of them made me, made me chuckle and made me just be like, yeah, all right, that's neat, you know. So really enjoyed this one, yeah. Um, let's break it down. Let's talk about the lyrics. So, lyrics, you are the hammer, I am the nail, building a house in the fire on the hill. There is a string that leads me to hope. I tied the noose, but you are the rope. And it, it was a lie that got me in bed. I am the dog, you are the shed. I can't find the perk in the Percocet when you're not around. So there's pretty pretty interesting lyrics here. Pretty interesting lyrics here. So um, it sounds like this other person they're talking about is the one who is constantly, I guess, abusing them or holding them down or, um, you know, whatever it may be, right? You're the hammer, I'm the nail. That doesn't seem like the most positive relationship, right? Building a house in the fire on the hill. There is a string that leads me to hope. I tied the noose. So I kind of made my own bed. But you are the rope. You're So it's like um, when, when I first heard that line, I was thinking like, okay. So what, what he's saying is like, you're the one who kills me, but I enabled you to do that, if that makes sense. So, and it was the lie that got me in bed. I am the dog, you are the shed. Again, you're the abuser, but I'm the one who, who's going through it, I guess. I'm the one who enables it. Uh, I can't find the perk in the Percocet. That was just kind of a pretty clever line. Uh, you know, being perky is kind of being energetic or happy or whatever, but not finding that in, in, in drugs. Um, but then it says, when you're not around. So I guess this person still kind of gives them life. It's almost like they, they, they live for this sort of abuse, maybe. I'm not sure yet. And this is the fight that taught me how to feel. I am the drunk, you are the wheel. Is is that in reference to? Didn't they used to like string drunk people up to like this the the water wheels or some shit like that? I don't remember. Um, so I drink till the night becomes another day, and today is just another thing in our way. No one ever chooses to be a flawed design, but this life is a joke, and death is the punchline. So that was pretty clever as well. So this person is just drinking their sorrows and their miseries away um, all night, right? And so, um, and today is just an obstacle to get through. And unfortunately, I can see that being the perspective of many alcoholics. Like, I, I drink because I just, there's nothing else to do, or my life has no meaning, or like literally life is just an obstacle. Life is just something to be overcame or overcome. Um, so, yeah, but no one ever chooses to be flawed inherently flawed uh but life is the joke and the death is the punchline so the punchline is what you wait for um and so basically saying like i'm waiting for death life is just kind of in the way right so you are the queen i am the rook you are the fire and i burned like a book don't know how this one ends till i die and the honest part of reliable is the lie i thought that was a really really clever line uh, so uh, I guess the person again that who is who is holding them down, they they claim to be reliable, but that's obviously a lie. The greater the power, the the more the abuse. That's a powerful line as well. You are the hand I worship, the bruise. I uh, if romance is dead, I guess I'm a necrophilia. That part made me laugh. So he 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 loves romance, but romance is dead. So I guess that makes him a necrophiliac, right? That's that's clever. I like that. Um, but again, this person who is, I guess, abusing him, he, he like worships that person, right? You are the hand, right? That beats me down. And when I'm beat, I worship the bruise that you left me. So it's like this person almost can do no wrong, even when they're recognizing that this person is bad for them. So every God needs a sacrifice. I am the cross and you are the Christ. 
which is interesting because that's almost like a flip because you, you know Christ was nailed to the cross so now I guess he is the one who I, I don't know I don't know I don't necessarily understand the reference there not that I don't understand the reference I don't understand I guess the meaning the symbolism behind it um, or if it if it's just a clever lie that, that they wanted to throw in I don't know so I drink till the night becomes another day and the day is just another little thing in our way there's something about the way you beat me down and I'll never learn you're the point of no return the pain in my chest the stain on your dress the glass in my eye but this life is a joke and death is the punchline I wonder if this is like a story about a male abuse victim honestly like uh, it sounds like his partner is super incredibly like physically abusive um and so I, mean, I don't know at the same time this song seems just lighthearted enough to to like be i don't know problematic maybe but <laughs> I, I don't know um and then yeah life is a joke death is the punchline this life is a joke and death is the punchline okay uh yeah honestly that kind of sounds like something like the joker would say honestly a little edgy right but uh you know i, I enjoyed the lyrics thought it was pretty neat um i i, I don't know I don't know, like, the, the lyrics really made me, like, kind of chuckle and be like, oh, yeah, cool. Um, let me see, archive. So, I, I'm wondering what the Jonestown reference is into. Was that, um, something happened there? Jonestown Massacre, that that rings a bell. Let me, hold up. Let me, let me do some Googling here, because for some reason, I'm, 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 I'm thinking, like, ah, Jonestown Massacre, that was a thing. Uh, let's see, what does Wikipedia have to say about Jonestown? The People's Temple Agricultural Project, better known as informal name Jonestown, was a remote settlement established by the People's Temple, a cult under the leadership of Jim Jones, that's right, in northwestern Guyana. So, what I wanted to say, like, obviously, as far as the latest go, I really like this one, but now it's starting to make sense, okay? Thank you, memory. Um, so, Jonestown was, was this cult, like, it was this place... Uh, this cult was living at back in the what what was it 70s um let's see it became internationally known when on november 18th 1978 a total of 918 people died in the settlement at the nearby airstrip in port kaituma and at the temple run building in georgetown guyana's capital city the name of the settlement became synonymous with the incidents at these locations uh, all but two. So all but two of them died from apparent cyanide poisoning in an event termed revolutionary suicide by Jones and some People's Temple members on an audio tape of the event. And in prior recorded discussions, the poisonings in Jonestown followed the murder of five others by Temple members in Port Kaituma, including United States Congressman Leo Ryan, an act that Jones ordered. Wow. Four of the temple members committed murder-suicide in Georgetown at Jones's command. Damn! So I remember hearing about the Jonestown Massacre, but I just qu couldn't quite remember all the details. Uh, yeah. Wow. Most contemporary media accounts after the events called the deaths a mass suicide. Uh, okay. So any more videos and poison. Third of the victims. Were, damn, a third of the victims were minors. That's insane. Guards armed with guns and crossbows have been ordered to shoot those who fled the Jonestown Pavilion as Jones lobbied for suicide. Damn. That's insane. I'm pretty sure that there are probably documentaries on this, and I feel like I need to go watch one now. So, I guess what I need to say about this lyrically is that, wow, that changes my perspective a whole lot. So I think that perhaps maybe this song is actually about um, being in that cult, right? Um... Yeah, cause, cause, damn, that's insane. Um, I, I do think that's what the song's about. It's about being in that cult. Um, and so, hungover in Jonestown, did he survive like the cyanide pill, <laughs> or either that, or is he just there and he's drunk and he's buying into this cult? I will say his voice does kind of sound like what I think the de the devil would sound like, and maybe that's where he gets Amigo the devil. And it, like this kind of sounds like the kind of music that the devil would play. Um, wow cool sorry now I'm on genius I'm like I want to know if genius can give me some more information here 
about the, the ah so according to genius the, the line this life is a joke and death is the punchline this metaphor has a dark edge when paired with this title of the song in the jonestown massacre 1978 hundreds of cult devotees were murdered by being pressured to drink great po- punch poison with cyanide yeah oh and the literal punch line yeah that makes sense is the cue of people seem to be poisoned by Jim Jones and his aides. Wow. So this this song might go a lot deeper than I originally thought it did. Um, I just thought it was like a, a partner abusing another partner. But I think maybe the song is more about being in a cult and kind of putting up with the abuse that the cult came from. Maybe it's telling the perspective from someone who joined the cult. I mean, I don't know. Um, but man, that gives me kind of something to think about here. Wow. Okay. Hey. Uh, man, that kind of elevates the lyrics for me. I, kind of, I like them already, so I'm giving it two thumbs up. Really enjoyed the lyrics there. Thought it was a pretty interesting song. Um, as far as instrumentation goes, I love the country twang throughout parts of this. I like at the beginning they had kind of those, uh, I don't know if they were keys or if they were chimes or what they were, but that was really enjoyable at the beginning. But then just kind of the dark, uh, sort of edgy aesthetic to a lot of the uh, instrumentation here worked out really well. And like I said, uh, his voice, I guess, combined with the style of the music, I was like, man, this is like... What, what the devil would, would be listening to, right? right And I was just like, yeah, this kind of works for me. I really enjoy it. Um, you know, I was, I was thinking as I was listening to it, like back when Red Dead Redemption 2 came out, I played the hell out of the game, and I was super in it. I was like, okay, I could see this maybe being like, uh, you know, uh, um, a song that, that relates to that. Love, love that game. Sorry, I just had to throw that in there. Um, yeah, I, I enjoyed it instrumentally. I, I don't know if there was anything to really grasp onto for me. Uh, I think where it truly shines is in the vocals and the, and in the um, the lyricism of it. But you know, instrumentally it was fine. It definitely wasn't like the pop country that I'm that I'm used to hearing when I'm around my brothers and stuff. So, <laughs> and that was more enjoyable about it. Okay, it was like a, it was almost like a dark country, like a metal country, if you will, um, which I really enjoyed about that. So I really enjoyed the style that they brought here. I'll give it a thumb up. I think I think it was enjoyable. But I would definitely check out more from Amigo the Devil in the future. So um, yeah, real real neat. As far as uh, replayability goes, this is going on my playlist. If nothing but for its novelty, honestly, like I feel like this stands out am- amongst a lot of the other music I listen to. So the fact that it's just so kind of out there. Um, kind of enjoy that about it, and so definitely going on the playlist. I'll probably listen to it here and there. I don't see myself like always reaching for this song. Like, oh yeah, I want to listen to this song. It's no Tame Impala, mind you, but you know, um, it's enjoyable. And when it comes on shuffle and stuff like that, I'll definitely give it a listen. So really enjoyed this one. Thank you for the for the recommendation. I'll be definitely getting to more and more of your um, uh, suggestions and and stuff. So if you want to leave a comment, please uh, put it down below in the comment section. Request a song for me to listen to. If you like the music, go support the artist. Um, I'll try to make sure, make sure Spotify has this band, and if they do, I will put it in my Spotify playlist, which you can find in the description. It's a pretty good playlist, and I'm not just saying that because I made it. I really enjoy the music you guys have been recommending to me. It's all there on the playlist. Go check it out. It makes for a fun, kind of weird listen because it's a bunch of differing styles <laughs> all in one playlist. So um, anyway, that's it for me. If you want to support me, just uh, you know do all the normal stuff you do on YouTube. But until then... See you guys next time. Bye.